good thing going and it'd be even better if it never ends and we went from friends to forever hey y'all hey. another oh week God, another vlog i think we're good we just ate dinner <laughs> that would have been so embarrassing no okay fine. we're just being real Woo. that would have been so embarrassing <laughs> Okay, nothing in your teeth. If there had been something, we would have had to well, start over. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Anyways, so, as y'all have noticed, over the past couple of weeks, well, we've only been doing the vlog a couple of weeks, so maybe just last week and the week before, the past couple of weeks, we have been, we added in a little intro to the videos, and there's a song. Shout out, Matthew Barrett. We didn't add it. You added it, and it's so cute. <laughs> So, there's a song. So, we've never posted about it on social media. This is breaking news. It's <laughs> just... People are going to think it's cute. Oh, for sure. I don't sure, care what they think. I think it's breaking cute. Breaking news. But anyways... It's the best thing that's ever happened. Yeah. That's the best thing? Not me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just meant, like, it's a it's really exciting. big thing that happened. Yeah, so... Anyways, there's a song that just played before you saw us talking... And friends to it's forever. called Friends to Forever. So it's our song. Yeah, just ours. Um, and it people was have songs, but it's like ours. Everyone has um. What Picture is that song? Love by Tim Graham. No, Pinto, no, what's Better that song? together. No, no, oh. no. What's that song? I'm offending people right Hold now. On. Oh, I don't want to offend it. Never mind. Never mind. There's just a lot of there's a lot of love songs out there. And people are like, that's our song, that's our song. Well, everybody has to, the same pool to pick from. No one can have our song because... We wrote it. We wrote it with, with Steve, Steve Mickler. So... Wow, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I guess we could just click. So, Steve Mickler, country artist. Um, he, I, would, I would go out on a limb and say he's the most underrated oh for sure like i'm sure many people Without a doubt. aren't gonna hear about you would have never heard about him he is so amazing so he's written he wrote riser for dirk bentley. bentley he has opened he opened tim and faith's um soul to soul comeback tour or whatever you want to call he's it he's toured with ben rector yes so he is he's got accomplishments under his belt he has multiple albums out He's a songwriter in Nashville. Um, he's written other He's hits. our favorite. Riser's just the one that comes to mind. Like, I think that might be his biggest. Um, his biggest song of his is Suitcase. Yeah, so Suitcase, they used to play it on, like, the highway and stuff like that. So, anyways, he's friends with Bobby Bones. He's on, on the Bobby Bones show a lot. All that to say that we love him. We started loving him a three years, years ago, ago. Yeah, a I would years say. Ago. Um, we have seen him... So we haven't seen just a Steve Mokler concert, but we've seen him at CMA Fest in Nashville. We um, met him we at met CMA him. Fest. Yes. Met him and Cassie Ashton. Insert pic. Can you insert yeah, picture? Yeah, I'll insert a insert picture. Insert picture. Um, but anyways, and I'll put some B-roll of him, um, sing, you know, when we saw him. We could go on and on. We just love we loved him, him so much. So anyways, basically, he does a lot of cool stuff. Um, because he's so underrated... He does creative things to like get himself out there and like and make a, a living and like he has a things. good solid fan base that'll like do support what he him does. and I think it's kind of cool that he gets to do these cool things. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so like one of the things I'll just examples before yeah. we get into our song is he does hometowns and campgrounds tours. So basically, he doesn't tour arenas and theaters and theaters and um, like. Um, fairgrounds and stuff like that. Festivals. Festivals, all the things. Except we just said he went to CMA Fest. Yes, but, but that's not that. his normal gig. I just being and funny. CMA Fest is raising I was money just for being charity. funny. Okay. So he, Took. his tours are him, his wife, and now he has two Shout out Gracie. Kids. Hi I Gracie. <laughs> um, him, his wife, and his two kids. And before kids, but they get into a camper, mm -hmm. a little airstream, and they travel around. 
and to people's go backyards. to people's backyards. Okay. And have like backyard shows. Yeah. So basically like you can, um, so how he does it is he is like, I'm going to go this fall and he allots a time that you can submit a bid and there's no minimum or anything. You just submit a bid and say where you are. And I guess if you get picked, you get to invite people to come. I'm pretty sure they like sit with a map. Like, from what they post on Instagram, they, like, sit with a map and, like, figure out which, like, routes will make sense for them and, like, yeah. what'll be fun. And they go to people's backyards. It's yeah. super cool. So, anyways. That's just one example. One example. Number well, two example is the one that we benefited during from. During COVID. Because we didn't have backyards that were going to accommodate that. Because no. we would have bought that, too. But if, <laughs> if we did, he would have been there. Yeah. Um, But during COVID, so when all artists had to stop touring and, like, their worlds were shaken up. They all were doing weekly, like, live videos and stuff. And they would go on Instagram, Insta Lives, Facebook Lives, and just, like, see their fans or talk with their fans, sing for them, whatever. Mm -hmm. So he was doing that. He would do the weekly. No. Okay. He would do the weekly, um, was it one night? It was, um, what did he call it? Pizza. Tuesday or Wednesday? It was Tuesdays. Okay. Tuesday. And he would, like. What did he call it? I can't remember. It's embarrassing. A slice. A slice, slice of, of the week. week. <laughs> it's been so long. I know. Well, that was okay. over a year ago. So he would, and then he would select a fan and like send them, like order pizza. them pizza um, to their house. So it was just really cool. I got pizza one time, insert pick. <laughs> um, but he, it wasn't just like, because I feel like everybody was doing Insta Lives. He was being creative again. He would answer questions, take song requests, and do like fun facts or like funny things in the news he yeah. was just like doing all he could really to like creative. make it really entertaining it. so just side note yeah so anyways so that's kind of brings us to the next piece which is our song our song portrait is what he called it. yes so, so tell about that? i just feel like you've been chit-chatting i'll take this one away i know people are very tuned out that is not She's true the fun. i'm the like that is editor not true Content creator, put everything together. No, comment the below and tell she's the personality. She's the personality. Yes, she is. No, it, we're like Chip and Joanna. I'm Joanna. <laughs> I'm Chip. <laughs> what hey, y'all, it's demo day. Ben, ben and Aaron from hometowns. Yeah. Okay. The point of this, we get so off track. Uh, it's me. I know I do it. We got a song portrait. So, what a song portrait is. Steve posted he was going to make 10 song portraits. So he was going to write a song for 10, he was going to write 10 songs for 10 people. So the same way they do like the campground, backyard, hometowns tours, you take a bid. So you like submitted a questionnaire and it was like, how much are you going to pay for this song to be written? What's your story? What's like, like, what are you getting it for? Like, is it for an event for someone you love? whatever for yourself <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it asked if it was for yourself but anyway so matthew and i saw this and we texted each other immediately and we're like there's just no question like we have to get this like i would have sold a kidney on the black market to get this like no steve Mo we just went on for like five minutes about how much we love him i've been 10 now <laughs> oh my gosh like we needed it. There was just no question. We were going to make it happen. And that's our thing. Country music, songs, Steve. Like, and we were dating at this point. We didn't have a song. We just said there's so many songs out there to choose from. One. Nothing really like. We had songs we liked. You know, there's like loving, lyrics in a song that you're like, oh, that I relate to that. But not like. Then there's pieces where it's like, I don't really relate to that. So we have to have to get this. So we submitted a little questionnaire thing. And we were like. We'll pay whatever, and we want it for us it to be our song. We're best friends to forever, blah blah blah. Matthew, I said that in Matthew my... came up with that. I was gonna give you credit. You. Um, yeah, and then we just like waited, and we were so nervous. Okay, so <laughs> I we submitted. It was probably a couple weeks. Yeah, maybe a month. I don't know. It was a little bit of time before we found out. And so I checked my email one day when I was at work, like my personal email, and it was like from Steve Mokler. And I was like, oh my God, Steve Mokler's emailing me. Like whether it was a rejection or an exception, Steve Mokler was emailing me. So I was so excited. And so I clicked on it and it was like, you've been selected for a song portrait. Woo! And I was like, oh my God. Like my, I got pit in my stomach. I was so excited. And so 
I called Matthew and I knew he was at work too, but I was just like, I have to tell him. Like if he sees me calling in the middle of the day, you would have known something was up. So I said, <laughs> Matthew, you'll never believe what just happened. And how did you answer me? Or I was like, I got chosen for a song portrait. How did you act? Oh. Right. <laughs> he was like, oh. And I was like, what the heck is wrong with you? I got chosen for a song portrait. Steve Moakley's going to write us a song. And he was like, yay. <laughs> so what was I going just, through your I head? Heard, I had already gotten, like, I would already seen that I had an email that I got selected too. And, but if I got selected, I wasn't going to tell her and I was going to get the song written and then use it for like at the proposal, like play it for her or whatever. Cause I knew for at the that first point, time. right. Cause I knew at that point that I was going to be proposing. So question, right. you were going to make me believe that we didn't win the song yes. portrait. That is so evil. No, it's not. But it worked out for the best cause we got to be co-writers. So, right. Fine. But in that moment, I was like, why is he not excited? And he was just like, I was going to get it and surprise you. I don't think he said that. You're making me sound bad. Can we just get to what the... Oh, was I just thought it was a funny okay, story. Okay. I feel like people you are, are so self-conscious. Do you think of bad things about yourself? Because you're projecting on our audience. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, you're just always worried about being the villain. I don't think anybody thinks that. Okay. Um... Anywho, so tell, talk about the process of like us writing it. So you get selected and then his assistant emails a... She was a really sweet girl. A, I think her name was Rachel. Yeah, it was. She emails a, like once you say okay and you pay, then she emails you and you get detailed into their certain questions. So I remember like, a few of them. Do you remember How some? many do you think questions there were? Ten. Ten? Okay. Maybe. I don't know. But I don't remember the questions. But the way we Madison and I did it was we both told and answered from, like... Our perspective. We wrote them separately, completely separate, and then just put them in the document together. So that way you could get both of our perspectives to write the song. Yeah. So some of the questions, just to, like, give examples, one would be, like, who is the person that you're writing the song for? So you just had to be, like, Madison's my best friend, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be, like, oh, Matthew's my best friend, blah, blah, blah. What? We were dating. Okay. We were just best friends. You're still my best friend. Okay. 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 Anyways, um, another question was like, what are 10 adjectives that you would use to describe your person? So we used 10 adjectives to describe each other. Then it was like, what songs come to mind when you think about each other? Can I have, there was like five photos of yourselves to submit so they could like see. What else was there? Just like, I don't remember. What? Wow. <laughs> it meant a lot to you. <laughs> it, it, it was that, like, what impact have they had on your life? Yeah. Or like, how'd you meet? Just like stuff to get a idea of us. Because so, otherwise, how is he going to write a personalized song? Right. A personalized song. I don't know if we got that clear <laughs> before. A personalized song. This is that, our song. That no one else in the world has. Right. No one even has access unless we sent them the link. Right. It's not like it's on Spotify. Oh, I wish it was. My friend Bailey, um... From Aerie, mm -hmm. when I, cause she wanted to hear it and I sent her the link to it. And then she's like, when is this going to be on Spotify? Like <laughs> she loved it. Never. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah. So we, we did the questionnaire thing separately and then hit it, submit it. And then we got a draft. Yes. Yeah, so he sent, they sent back and it was basically like a demo of him just singing with his guitar rough demo so stripped like right really, it and sounded it was, really cool i mean yeah and it's like okay are there any changes you want made and we only had one change it was literally like two words and that was it so then we just tell them that back and then he sent the final of him singing it mm -hmm. and yeah so we have it yeah so then after we got it got the finalized version the finalized version it wasn't like a full band or anything but it was like a little more production-y and just like a little cleaner and then that one thing was switched do you want to say what it was sure i feel like it would add character so the song so I it said it, oh sorry okay. you go i wish people could know like what the how like how the song goes or something you were my always right. had some <laughs> okay i could put on. maybe i could put a picture of the lyrics or something i don't know but oh, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. <laughs> but um 
the room. Took a while. What, 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 what was I saying? Is, but the feelings were strong. Okay, so okay, hit it. Hit it, Bergy. Oh, the next <laughs> the next line is shotgun. Okay, so the demo, the draft, shotgun rider to Virginia Beach. Yeah. Friday night cheese fries and sweet tea. And we were like, The okay, reason that Virginia Beach was in it because we put in there that we saw Jason Aldean at Virginia Beach. That was the first, was concert, first concert we ever went to. Together. Matthew got me tickets. For so my... that's Hello. What... <laughs> Steam roller. Oh my God. <laughs> you paid me in No, oh, I was just mid-sentence. Okay, Matthew got me tickets for my 16th birthday to Jason Aldean at Virginia Beach. That's all I was trying to say. And that came up in the questionnaire we filled out. I feel like sometimes when these are playing back, if you cut me off, they can't hear what I was saying. And I was in the middle okay. of a sentence. I'm just going to go mute. No, 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 no. <laughs> So, right. So, anyways, <laughs> he wrote Virginia Beach. He took that and ran with it. But we're We've just only ever been to Virginia Beach for, for concerts. concerts. It's we don't not have, like a special place. And we don't have any... And we have so many other... I think our reasoning behind it was we have so many other places that, like, mean something to us. Right. But Virginia Beach just isn't one of them. Right. The Outer Banks would even be more... Nashville, if you know us. Right. So, but that didn't fit in the line. So... Shotgun Rider we just said, to Nashville. Did you ever go to Virginia Beach? So, it's just the beach. Yeah. Shotgun Rider to, to the, the beach. beach. Riding that cheese fries and sweet tea. <laughs> I'll just sing y'all the whole song. Come on. We're like the synchronized <laughs> divas. Wait. Hang on. We already know. <laughs> I was going to make a dance, but then I was going to do like a shotgun and I was going to do like a symbol, but I don't want people to think I'm using a gun. No, no, Okay, no. anyways, anyways, okay. anyways. So <laughs> we got it back and we loved, loved, loved it. Yeah. Like it's going to, we, and we assumed before we even got it back that would be our first dance song, but like then we got back. It was Because it could, dance. some love songs are, could be like upbeat. Up beat. <laughs> like that's not first dance. It's a first dance. This one's a first dance song. Um, I feel like we didn't just like emphasize the part you made the title. So, in what we wrote, I mean, we wrote paragraphs of stuff between just so answering much, all the so ten. Much love. Right. And we answered so many questions. Mm -hmm. So, but there's just basically, so much love. There's so much love. <laughs> Anyways, we're co writers on the song. Like, without our information, Steve could not have written a personalized song for us called Friends to Forever. Right. <laughs> So, it's literally about us. Anyway, so, we gave the inspiration, and then some of the lines and words or whatever are ours. But I thought of Friendship Forever. I thought that was such a good... Title. I mean, I thought it would be a good title, but <laughs> I didn't want to be like, oh, but you Steve should... thought that, too. Right, because I put it somewhere in what I wrote. You capitalized it, I capitalized it, too. it. <laughs> to stand out. Just like, just in case you didn't get it, Steve. Friends to... <laughs> Forever. <laughs> that is so but funny. Anyway, funny. so that's the title. Mm -hmm. But then there's like lines that Madison wrote. Like, yeah, there was one. Oh, there's a funny line. Yeah. Okay, that's what you're talking about. There's uh -huh. one that's like, how does it say? When I'm, I'm uptight. Loosen, I loosen up. I'm uptight, but loosen up when you get me laughing like that. I think, I think no, you I wrote, wrote that, that you were uptight. And then I make you laugh a lot. But there was another one where I was like, all my favorite memories are with you. Yeah. And that's a line in the song. Just so many. Yeah. It's so, just so cool because I can literally remember typing it on my computer and being like, oh my God, I yeah. hope Steve picks this. And now it's in our song. So anyways, we did a like an add-on and he wrote down the lyrics for us and sent them on piece of paper. And we have them framed in our In our house. house. This is Steve Mokler's handwriting. Yes. And... So it says, friends are forever. I'm going to take a picture and like put it up. <laughs> it says, Madison, Matthew, and Mokler. <laughs> That's you can see Steve the and Mokler. <laughs> yes, that is Steve Mokler. <laughs> he said, with love, Steve Mokler. Okay, let me find another one that was like, well, can I just talk the lyrics? Yeah. Okay. That might be boring for the people. So. I was just going to find something that was like something else that we said that was like. Y'all hang tight. So, anyways, it's just really cool. And it's, people can't say they have Am a personalized Am I your favorite person song. in the world? Yeah. That, that's in there. <laughs> um, but it's just, like, cute and sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. 
So, just other ways so that people can see it. <laughs> I don't want to get <laughs> fingerprints on it. Yeah, and I'm going to have so, to Windex it. Anyways. But it so, sits. It's we'll take favorite. a picture, but it sits up on a cabinet in our living room with our engagement picture. So, it's just like super duper cute. Yeah. So, anyways, if you're wondering what that song is at the beginning and why our channel is Matthew and Madison Friends Forever, it's because we have a personalized song from our favorite, Steve, Steve Mudgeward. And we love Steve so, so much. much. <laughs> we can't wait till the day we can actually see him, at a, like, have him at a concert. Yeah. Um, and if you've been just, like, sitting there racking your brain, what are those two going to dance to at their wedding? Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, we just wanted to do a quick video. Explaining. Hasn't been that giving a shout out to Steve. Steve Mugler. Because we I love will it. link maybe his Spotify and his Insta. Y'all. Okay, let me give you. Okay. We could each Top say five. our favorite songs. Okay. okay, but no order because I can't, I don't have that much time to think. But so if I was going to say. Five, three, three each. Oh, five each. Okay, five but each. But I feel like there could be overlap. Right. There's going to be overlap. I was just, if you asked me, hey, Madison, I think I'm going to check out Steve Mokler. What should I listen to? Hard Not to Love It. Oh, my God. You took the words out of my mouth. Okay, Hard Not to Love It. How Have We Never. Chesney. This is so hard. Slow Down. I only get one more. One of the Boys. Yeah. That's <laughs> a good one. Yeah. Um... I mean, those are in my top five. I mean... But there's so many more. Suitcase is his most, like, popular, I would guess. All I want um, is you, honey. Yeah, I'd have to look up. It's hard to think on the spot There's like just this. so many. I also love... You love the picture. That's the exactly picture. what I was going to say. This is getting wild. Yeah. Oh, and Think About Us. Every girl. Oh, my God. Every girl. Not every girl. He just has so, yeah. so many good And his songs. love songs are good. So good. So, and They'll get you crying. If you are looking for some new music, Steve Mokler is your guy. All the freaking way. Sorry, you won't have a personalized song like we do, but... You mm, missed your chance. You missed it. So, anyways, linked is going to be Steve's info. But, anyways... Yeah, that's going to be our first dance song, and that is our personalized song. So, um, listen to the beginning of this again, and I always play it a little bit at the end when I edit, so you can hear a little snippet. But yeah. I mean, if you want me to sing a couple more lines. No, I could, no. I live them. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, but y'all remember when I was saying in a different video... He's watching the Olympics instead of paying attention. Suni Lee is winning a gold medal right now. Okay, but we are tuned into this. I know, this. I know. Okay. Um, in our, like, one-year date anniversary thing, and we went to Glory Days, and we were like, cheese fries and sweet tea. That's in It's in song. our song. So now it's we've recapped song. everything full circle. Yeah. We, in our other videos, we kept mentioning this song, but it kept editing it out because we didn't give a full picture about the song. Because we felt, knew we could talk for 25 minutes about yes, this song. And we knew we needed to dedicate this to Steve and this song because we were just so happy. Yeah. So. So that's that on that. I hope, you're not tired. I hope they're not tired of hearing us talk. I mean, they could be. They could be. Whatever. Whatever. We live in America. You can watch <laughs> or you can not. That's true. But, but anyway. we're also in America where you could like. Comment, like, subscribe, subscribe share, share with, your with friends. the friends. How good of a promo <laughs> is that? I'm gonna go into marketing. <laughs> yes, post it to your Facebook. The link to this. Post it to your Insta story because I heard they might take away where you can like post somebody else's post on your Insta story. So, so while you still can, just go ahead. <laughs> right, <laughs> do all the things. We just appreciate it. Our first video. That's a brag. Just letting them know. We're, the, we're humble people. <laughs> humble people. The first video we posted has 600 views. Woo! So, anyways. <laughs> it's not about views. It's we're really doing not. this for fun. And just stay interacted with our people. But if you do love us, you can just do all those things. And I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Okay, we gotta close. We're gonna this. go. We gotta go watch the watch Olympics. Watch the Olympics and cheer on our girl Suni. Woo, Team USA. I've had a good thing going and it'd be even better if it never ends. And we went from